Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 18 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> Baby, finally came in, oh my god! I'm so happy this is the last thing that I have to watch after catching up with all the stuff that I missed over the weekend, because you know girl was gone on her little mini vacay in San, Ant San Antonio. St. Augustine. Take it, baby! Oh. Now the question is, is anything going to be changed in the opening or are we waiting until episode 25? I mean, it would make the most sense to go ahead and change the opening now since Laura is officially like a human. But if they want to wait until episode 25, I'm okay with that because of course, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but yeah. <laughs> you don't know how hard it was not to look up like screenshots or anything for this episode over the weekend last week while in St. Augustine. Um cuz I was trying my freaking hardest cuz we were we were out on a boat. And I was on Twitter posting stuff like pictures and everything. Heck, a lot of things happened Saturday night. <laughs> Your girl fell. <laughs> it scraped her leg really bad. And now it looks ugly. Uh, but, yeah, I was trying not to, like, get spoiled on anything. So, thank God I didn't get any, anything, like, on this episode. I saw, like... Not really screenshots, just art of drawings of people drawing Laura as like a human and such. And it was just adorable. And I was like, oh, I miss this. I want to watch it so bad. But my laptop's at home, like 45 minutes away. But like, where's that from? Hmm. <sighs> oh, everything. Of course. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course. mountains because you're a mermaid you don't really know much about mountains and that's okay baby <laughs> oh damn Mm-hmm. Poor thing. <laughs> Good at it. Really, honey? <laughs> I mean, it was bound to happen, you guys. I mean, come on now. She was the final person in the group. Well, technically, no, she was the first. But we all knew it was happening. But where, though? <laughs> that is like me when my mom was like, DJ, let's clean. I oh, know I'm busy. I mean, well, you don't set please, so. Poor baby. Mm-hmm. You know, Dean is right. Anna Sue is right. Hmm? Oh, yeah, because you wanted to join the swimming club. Okay, see, uh -huh. this is going to be hella complicated because, you know, once again, she might be like, you know, H2O mermaid, you touch water, and boom, you mermaid again. She just kidding. <laughs> oh, the laugh.
Yeah, but once again, I don't think you can go in the water because the fact is, you know, babe, you mermaid. Touch water. Boom. Mermaid. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Next season of Sora Online, we hear Silica laugh like that. <laughs> Oh, you would think the eye catch would change too. But once again, I think they're waiting until episode 25. And that's when, like, everything's going to be updated. But, I mean, because the ending's different. So, wouldn't we go ahead and change eye catch opening as well? And, and go back and forth between Laura being a mermaid and a human in the opening? <laughs>
I just need somebody to make her shoes. Make her shoes and I will buy them. And I will wear them every day. Like, oh my god, I will get a mermaid wedding dress. And wear the crap out of them because, oh my god, they're so fucking pretty. And I kind of get why they're doing, like, just the single attacks for it, but maybe... Okay, yeah, they're, they're going to end with that. Is me or did this episode also go by really quickly? Because we're now 18 minutes and we're almost done with this episode. I'm so scared to look because she might turn back into a mermaid. Well, she went in gracefully. Uh-oh. Poor baby. Oh. Well, you didn't turn back into a mermaid. You just can't swim with two legs yet. Poor thing. <laughs> No, please don't. (laughs) 
Yeah, it's fine. She's just having, you know, a little bit of spat. Right. <laughs> Might as well. Let's go. No, of course. Come on, it's Laura. <laughs> but yeah, this was cute. It went by really fast, so I mean, or it was just me. Because, seriously, this went by hella fast. But, okay, thank God, like, oh, it would have been so weird if she dove into the water and she instantly transformed back into a mermaid. But, like, oh, snap, then, like, what was the point if every single time when she would touch water, she would instantly turn back into a mermaid? <laughs> that would have been funny, though, but then at the same time, be like, oh, God, everybody now knows she's a mermaid and that mermaid's exist and there's once again but poor baby she just you know what she reminded me of you know and i, I can kind of speak on this is like for everybody remember the first time when you watched free and you know um <laughs> ray when he got into swimming and he tried his best because he was trying to figure out like what stroke was going to best match him and everything which was just really freaking cute and you got to see him try different ones until he found out which one was his specific style and as to use it was cute like oh poor baby except she almost drowned thank god that didn't happen though but yeah i think she just needs a little more time going from a fin to two legs and kicking your feet. I mean, it's almost like when we were all kids and we were all trying to learn to swim for the first time and we looking at this pool and we thinking, yeah, we can go in the deep end. Yeah, we got this. And, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's a creepy Chucky doll. But you know who she, she also kind of looks like knows me, but like, mm. I'm excited. This might be the best episode besides, you know, you know uh, Laura officially being a gear and such. Because, like, ooh. I, I mean, when you take, for me, in my opinion, you take something that is cutesy and everything, and then you give me a little bit of horror. Or some, like, cute, scary moments, but you still make it, like, once again, a little bit of cuteness, a little bit of horrorness, mix it all together. Not, like, because I, I know there's a lot of people who don't really, like, the magical girl death game i'm one of those people who really enjoys the magical girl death game even though there are some times where a magical girl death game series goes a little over the top but of course we're not going to get this with that because of course pretty here is very um 100 cutesy with like couple of moments of like jump scares and stuff but it's still in a cutesy way and i still love it no matter what i think like I said, next week might be my favorite episode all time of this season besides the transformation officially, you know, Laura becoming the final cure of the series and such. I do like the fact that we got to see the student council president again. Um, still wanting, officially as of 18 episodes into this show, 
um, to specifically see the connection between her and Asuka. And hopefully we do that, we do get that answered by the time we get, at least, if not by the end of, like, going to 24 on to 25, at least 25 to the end of the series. Um, I still want to know a little bit more about Midorin because Midorin, like, everybody has gotten, like, an equal amount of screen time. But once we get to, like... Once we're getting to the point where we establish, okay, here's 24 episodes with these girls and such together as a group, fighting bad guys every single week, villain of the week, whatever, and becoming closer than ever, it's now officially time to see how the individual episodes will shine versus the episodes where everybody gets development and such. So if we have an episode that is all about Laura, but like Midorin or Manetsu or Sango or Asuka gets like a little bit of a moment to shine, then it's going to be like, okay, thank God. Because I, I do want to see eventually like Midorin to, you know, be like um, Komachi and specifically, you know, write her stories because she likes to write and likes to read and it's like that. I think that would be good. Hell, I mean, there, there's now when talks possibly. So like, let's go back to Healing Good for a moment because even though I have not seen the Healing Good slash Yes Pretty Cure 5 um, go-go movie yet, because I, I think, I think it's coming out soon from what the last time I heard about it. Um, but it's a possibility that the next group that is crossing over, because it seems like now we're going into, like, every movie now, especially the second movie, is going to be a crossover with a Pretty Cure series. It seems like this next series is going to be Smile, which I am here for it, because big thing is, you know, Cure March and Cure Papaya, their seiyus are freaking, you know, Mikasa and Adamin from Attack on Titan, and we get to have those two interact as Pretty Cures, and your girl is just going to be fangirling if it's true. So, you know, fingers crossed this is true. But, like, yeah, this was a really interesting episode. I'm glad that Laura gets to hang out with these girls as a human and just do cute little things. I I'm ready to see, you know, her, like, every single week. Be like, oh my god, what's that? What's this? What's that? Like, everything. Because now everything is even more new to her. And I think she's going to love it even more. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you to her. Episode 18 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next <clears throat> Saturday, Sunday for episode, or really this weekend, for episode 19. Bye, guys.